Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C Sharp tutorials. In the previous video, I've shown you how you can add data to your table in the database. And uh, in this video, I'll show you how you can retrieve data from the database and you can show that in a particular component. So for that, let me just go and add a new item. We'll add a new web form. Uh, name it page two. Doesn't matter what you call it. And uh, over here, I'll just go to my toolbox and I will just uh, go and take a drop down list. Okay. Fine. So just double click drop down list so you can have it. Now, I would like to add some data in it. So let me just uh, uh, save this and uh, uh, let me just go over here and uh, add a new table to our database. So for that, let me just go and expand the database. So these are the tables I have I just have only one table that is uh, registration table and uh, we will add one more table and uh, in that I will just add two fields that will be ID and uh, country name this will be an NV and uh, I will assign my ID a primary key which should uh, auto increment every time so for that just go down say yes and mm, we'll save this table as country table and now i have that table so we'll go and directly we'll add some data in that country as India then we'll say Nepal Sri Lanka Japan China New Zealand so I think this will be it so I've added six country names over here and the table has been saved now we'll go to our link file and we will just drag and drop this table over here as you all know link file is nothing but in a simpler way you can uh, take the link file as the inter interface between the database and your c sharp code which will help your database understand uh, what we would like to do with that so now i will select this let me just go and show that we don't have any data right now present in the uh, page so give me a second so that this uh, will load see you don't have any data over here okay so now we'll just uh, go and uh, select this and we will choose the data source we will select a new data source and wait for a while till it gives us the option like this select link because we are going to use the link file and then say next and then select the table which you want we i want to get data from the country tables so i'm saying country tables and i would like to get the uh, or both of the uh, values from the table so i'm saying finish now it says select a data field to display in the drop down list i don't want to display the id to the users i would like to display the country name so i'm selecting country name and here it says select a data field for the value of the drop down list it states that what value with uh, with uh, which we would like to show or work with behind the scene this will not be shown to the user but when you are using the data written in the combo box will be working with this ID not with the name so for the time being I'll be saying country name and country name for both say ok now just uh, save it go to your page and just refresh it and now you can see you have the country names over here see how easy that was so this is how you can connect your uh, 
combo box to your uh, data or if you want you can do the same thing with uh, the complete data which you have you can just go to the data tab if you open that you can have you will have something known as a grid view so for that just say just select that and uh, when where it says choose data source select data source say new data source link again say link okay next and here again select the table here i would like to get the values from the registration table i want all the data except the id so i'm selecting all of this you would not want to show the passwords of the user so i'm removing them if you want to remove the username also you can remove that so i'm showing just name his number and his username so just will finish that save it just go back and just refresh your page so that you will have the data over here and now if you want you can uh, format it the way you want if you can see you have different uh, styles pre-made you can change them if you want but uh, you can select any one of them just say apply and say ok and just say save just go and refresh your page now it will be having a particular size whichever you define and then what you do if you would like to make this uh, changes in the heading you can go and say edit columns in that select this field and in the header text you can make it as full name and the number you can make it as contact number and the username can be changed to user name just say okay say save go back and just refresh and you will have the complete edited table over here so this was easy i guess hope you people understood how to uh, display data in a grid view and hope you liked it and thanks for watching